do not download these Roblox exploits. Recently, there have been an increase in the release of new Roblox executors that work on PC. These Roblox executors are popping up every single day, However, these executors are affecting you without you even knowing it. In today's video, I'll be talking about the safest Roblox executors along with the type of executors to avoid. So sit back and relax and enjoy the video. So starting off, we have a recently released executor that has gained a massive amount of users within a short period of time. This executor is Solara. Solara is a working Roblox executor that is currently active on the Windows version of Roblox. It released a couple of months ago and originally bypassed Bifron. As of now, Solara has over 100,000 members and is one of the biggest Roblox executors on the market right now. However, no one has ever debunked the safety of this exploit and the trustworthiness of the owner. So I'll be doing that just right at this moment. So as you guys can see over here, I managed to get a couple of statements from the owner of Solara. Here, I asked him how long he's been into the exploiting market. He replied, Solara had been in development for four months. I really only started in September of 2023 for an exploit dev, but I've been coding for about two years prior to that. From this, we can see that the owner does know what he's doing to a certain extent. And here I asked him, how long do you think the lifespan of Solara will be? He replied, whenever Roblox patches it, which isn't hard to do at the moment as on their end, they have detection systems set in place. So I like that he's being completely honest here and we all know that Solara is detected. The same thing that happened with Krampus will happen to Solara very soon. Roblox is just piling on users to include in a ban wave just like before. So now, moving on to whether Solara is a virus or something else, right here I asked him straight up, is it a virus? And what he said was that it is impossible to prove that it's actually a virus without seeing the entire code base, which would take hours. However, throughout this background check that I did on him, he had no history of ratting or any quarrels in the Roblox exploiting community in the past. Not to mention, he's the only person working on it at the moment and there has been zero detections on Solara. There has been no evidence if it was a virus or not. So to summarize, I don't really think Solara is a virus or malware of any kind. However, I don't recommend you guys use it as it is 100% detected by Roblox and it is not safe to use Solara as of this moment. But it is currently working, but that doesn't always mean that it is not detected. So I recommend you guys remove Solara from your computer and switch to something safer, which will be shown later in the video. Next up, I'm gonna be talking about a few of the pop-up executors that have been launching constantly the past couple of weeks. So the executors in question are Incognito, Oxy, Lunar, and Feather. I like to call these exploits pop-up executors as they have been popping up in the community every couple of weeks, but there's no need to talk about it as some of the owners and most of the owners of these exploits are completely unknown and have no history in the Roblox exploiting community. No big creators on this platform have been posting about the exploits that they're making. So whether or not it bypasses Bifron or works on Roblox, I don't recommend you guys download it and I recommend you guys stay away from these type of executors as most of these are going to be an exit scam and a virus. However, this is just the main speculation. After me gathering data of all the previous executors that have done this, there seems to be a pattern and most of these executors do seem to be a virus. So, what exploits are currently safe? The safest Roblox executors right now are Vega X and Codex. The tutorials to download these executors and the method on how to use them are up on my channel. But anyways, these executors are completely free and they fully bypass Bifron and are completely safe. So that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys have enjoyed. If you're interested and if you have any questions, make sure to comment them down below. This was a quick video on debunking executors and determining whether they are viruses or not. And also looking for a solution as to which executors to use to stay safe whilst exploiting. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.